a very good morning to all the students today we will start our uh, first fresh chapter okay chapter 5 initially this chapter has been named as challenges to and restoration of the congress system from indian politics and after the revised syllabus this chapter has been renamed as parties and the party system in india so in this chapter we will study congress system bi party system multi party system and coalition system okay so uh, let's begin our chapter first of all challenges of political succession so uh, we will uh, start this chapter um, when uh, nehru ji our first prime minister passed away what happened after that so what was the future of india so and uh, what the political parties or who who became our second or third prime minister and how and what happened during that period everything will be discussed in this chapter okay so prime minister jawahar lal nehru passed away in may 1964 he had been unwell <clears throat> so nehru ji passed away in may 1964 he had been unwell for more than a year so during that time the, there was a very big question who will become the next prime minister the question was after nehru who that was the question but the newly independent country india was a newly independent country and he was the first prime minister so in this situation people were thinking or the parties were thinking that after nehru what they were not concerned about who but what who will become our next prime minister that was not the main question during that time during that time after nehru what will happen to india so that was the question and people or the political parties they were confused during that time okay so 1960s uh, the period of 1960s were labeled as a dangerous decade okay so uh, it was nehru ji who has uh, done so much for india his for uh, india because india just got independence and wanted to follow democrat democracy in india and he was the one who was uh, able to uh, maintain that um, hard earned sovereignty in india right and he was uh, having democratic experiment experiment also so people were saying after nehru if nehru ji died then will this experiment will this democracy survive or not so all of them were feared during that time okay and one fear was also there after nehru like all other uh, newly independent country if they did not uh, succeeded in democracy then there will be army rule political rule of the army so in india also that was also the question that was also the fear in the mind so after nehru what will happen uh, india will also have um, the role of nehru or india will also have the role of uh, army so that was the question okay now because uh, india during that time in nehru's period only there were so many uns undissolved or unsolved problems like poverty inequality communal and regional division these are the things which has not been solved during that period so this is also the question now next topic is from sastri from nehru to sastri so after nehru ji uh people were uh, afraid right so what happened we, after nehru who will become the prime minister so during that time when nehru passed away k kamras the president of the congress party consulted party leaders and congress member of parliament and found that there was a consensus or a general agreement in favor of lal bahadur shastri so it was um, k kamras the president of the congress party after nehru ji died he consulted with other members of the um, congress party and all of them have a general agreement that our next prime minister will be lal bahadur shastri so there was um, no competition for lal bahadur shastri during that time lal bahadur shastri was also the um, 
मिनिस्टर ऑफ नेहरूज कैबिनेट फॉर मेनी इयर्स ओके नेहरू हैड केम टू डिपेंड अ लॉट ऑन हिम ड्यूरिंग हिज लास्ट ईयर वेन नेहरू जी वर्स इल ही हैज टू डिपेंड ऑन लाल बहादुर शास्त्री सो द मेम्बर ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी डिसाइडेड टू मेक लाल बहादुर शास्त्री एज आवर सेकेंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर ओके he was earlier uh, lal bahadur shastri resigned from the position of railway minister he was also the minister of railway but he has resigned from railway ministering because there was one major railway accident and he took the responsibility upon himself being the railway minister so he resigned from that post and um, nehru ji uh, shastri ji is um, prime ministership has been a, for a very short period that is from 1964 to 1966 only for 2 years okay during that time when uh, shastri ji became the prime minister that time india our country has to face two major challenges one was uh, a war with china and uh, many other economic challenges like failed monsoon drought and serious food crisis um, and uh, another main re- another main challenges was a war with pakistan in 1965 so these were the challenges which uh, we have to face which our country has to face during the prime minister of lal bahadur shastri ji his famous slogan was jai jawan jai kisan and his slogan symbolize to resolve the country's uh, major challenges during that time okay jai jawan jai kisan jawan for the war war with china and pakistan and kisan for drought failed monsoon food crisis that is for kisan okay now sastri's prime minister came to an abrupt end suddenly on 10th of january 1966 sa lal bahadur sastri ji expired in taskent then in ussr and the currently in the capital of uzbekistan he was there to discuss and sign an agreement with mohammad ayub khan the then president of pakistan to end the war so uh, sastri ji went to um, taskent in ussr to sign an agreement with uh, the then prime um, president of pakistan mr mohammad ayub khan but no one knows what happened over there his dead body came from taskent he went to sign an agreement and that was still a question what happened to lal bahadur shastri ji during that period okay so shastri ji's prime ministership has end by now he was dead so now there was another question now who again the same question within a period of 2 um, years he has been as a prime minister only for 2 years after nehru ji died now from shastri to indira gandhi after when um, shastri ji died from that period onwards indira gandhi became the prime minister of india but how let's discuss so The Congress faced the challenge of political succession for the second time in two years. First, it has been resolved um, very, very finely because of Lal Bahadur Shastri. But second time, when Lal Bahadur Shastri died, from that period onwards, again our country or the Congress they have to face another challenge. Okay. This time there was an intense competition between Morarji Desai and Indira Gandhi. So this time there was a competition for Indira Gandhi. Last time in Shastri ji's period there was no one uh, there was no competitor for Lal Bahadur Shastri. But during Indira Gandhi's time there was a competitor and it was Morarji Desai. Okay. Morarji Desai had earlier served as the chief minister of Bombay. Today's Maharashtra. so he has been the chief minister of bombay and uh, also the minister at the center he was also the minister at the center okay morarji desai indira gandhi the daughter of jawaharlal nehru had been congress president in the past and also been union minister for information in the shastri cabinet so indira gandhi she was the daughter of um, nehru ji she was 
and then the president of the congress during um, in her past she was the president of the congress and during the time of uh, nehruji's prime minister sastriji's prime minister she has been the union minister for information okay this time the senior leader of the party decided to back indira gandhi but the decision was not unanimous so within the party there were two competitor one is morarji desa and one is indira gandhi and the senior member of the political party or the senior member of the congress party during that time they supported indira gandhi and other uh, members they supported morarji desa so the decision was not unanimous there were two um, um two parties or we can say there was two group one group was supporting uh, indira gandhi and another group was supporting morarji desai okay so uh, there was a fierce competition and uh, this competition has been resolved by a secret ballot election there was an election during that time and um, this uh, contest was resolved through a secret ballot among congress mps okay indira gandhi defeated morarji desai by securing the support of more than 2/3 of the party's mps indira gandhi won the election okay by 2/3 okay during that time the election has been held in secret ballot a peaceful transition of power despite intense competition for leadership was seen as a sign of maturity of india's democracy so there was a fierce competition between uh, indira gandhi and morarji desai but after uh, winning the election there was a peaceful transition the transfer of power has been very very peaceful though competition was very fierce that was the sign of maturity of india's democracy now it took some time for the new prime minister could settle down because indira gandhi was inexperienced okay while indira gandhi had been politically active for a very long she had served as the minister under lal bahadur shastri only for a short period okay for two years only so lal bahadur shastri ji was the prime minister only for two years so indira gandhi during that time was the information Union Minister for Information, right? So that was a very short period, and many thought that Indira Gandhi was inexperienced. And the senior Congress leaders, those who have supported Indira Gandhi, they have their own uh, selfish motive behind that. What they thought that Indira Gandhi was inexperienced, and she would compel, they would compel her to be dependent on them. for support and guidance they thought that indira gandhi uh, seek support and guidance from us only she has to depend on us that was the thinking of the serious senior congress leaders okay that is the reason they have supported indira gandhi now within a year of becoming prime minister indira gandhi had to lead the party in the lok sabha within a year she has to lead the party in the lok sabha because the leader of the lok sabha will always be the prime minister so she has to lead the party uh, during that time around this time the economic situation in the country had further deteriorated for the destroyed the um, situation was not good adding to her problem she herself was inexperienced the political leaders were not supporting her and the situation in india also got um, uh, deteriorated okay faced with difficulties she set out to gain control over the party and to demonstrate her leadership skill she has to control her party also she has to look after for the country she has to look after all the problems and she also has to demonstrate her leadership skill so that was the challenge when she became the prime minister within one year okay after shastri ji it was indira gandhi our third indira gandhi was our third prime minister and first woman prime minister and she became prime minister in 1966 okay so you have to remember this um, point and we will 
discuss uh, fourth general election 1967 in our next class till then please watch the videos or please listen to it very very carefully